His flaky, itchy skin driving you crazy? You know how you've tried every product on the planet and you're still dealing with stubborn dandruff and red irritated patches? Well, you may have mineral deficiency. I'm going to share the vital minerals your skin needs to fan off septum and restore a healthy glow. And at the end of the video, one important mineral that you may be getting too much of. First up, zinc. You do not want to be zinc deficient. Studies show people with septum have way lower zinc levels than peeps with normal skin. No zinc equals cracked, irritated skin and those nasty flaky red patches. Zinc keeps your skin barrier strong and healthy, so when you don't get enough, it can go haywire. Luckily, you can fix a zinc deficiency by eating all the yummy zinc-rich foods. I'm talking oysters, lamb, nuts, all that good stuff. You could also take a zinc supplement. You want a brand that combines zinc with selenium, magnesium and other minerals. It helps your body absorb the zinc better. Garden of Life Raw Zinc delivers natural zinc and is packed with vitamin C, probiotics and a blend of organic fruits and vegetables to give your body a nutrient explosion. If you are looking for an all-in-one zinc supplement that goes above and beyond, Garden of Life Raw Zinc is my pick. I've linked to it below. Now, let's talk about iron deficiency. I know what you're thinking. Iron deficiency? Like anemia? How could that make my skin freak out? Well, stick with me to understand the signs. Iron is super important for your immune system. Without enough iron, your immunity gets weaker. And that allows malassezia, which is normally harmless, to grow out of control on your skin. This yeast overgrowth then triggers inflammation, redness, and flakes the lovely symptoms of septum. If you're feeling a bit washed out, ask your doctor to check your iron levels. It's a simple blood test. And if you are iron deficient, there are many ways to make sure you get enough iron in your diet. Eat more organ meats, legumes, shellfish, and quinoa. But most of us need more than just food to replace our iron. This is where iron supplements come in. The problem with most iron subs on the shelves is that they can irritate your stomach and cause constipation. They also don't work very well. I hardly took my iron tablets even when I was pregnant, which frustrated my doctor no end. Thank God I've since found him iron. Him iron comes from animal sources. You absorb up to 30% of the supplement, which is 2-3 to three times better than non heme iron, the usual iron supplements you see in the store. iHerb has a huge offering of heme iron supplements. The one I tried was Terry Naturally Liver Fractions, and it brought my iron levels back to normal within 3 months. I've linked to it below. Next up, let's talk about essential fatty acids or EFAs. These fats are extremely important for healthy cells and immune function. The two main types are omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Our bodies can't produce this on their own, so we really need to get them through our diet. If we don't get enough omega-6 fatty acids, we can end up with higher levels of oleic acid in our sebum, the oil our skin produces. The oleic acid can weaken the skin barrier and make it harder for skin to heal. It also feeds malassezia which worsens septum. An imbalance between omega-3 and omega-6 could also lead to more inflammation, further aggravating septum. So, how can we make sure we get enough EFAs from food? Omega-3s are found in fatty fish, flax seeds, walnuts, and leafy greens. Omega-6s come from vegetable oils, nuts, and seeds. Eat a variety of these foods to get that essential fatty acid balance. If you choose to supplement, look for reputable brands that are third-party certified to be mercury-free. Again, big fan of iHerb for supplements. They have plenty of omega-369 supplements. A good one to try is the Now Super Omega 369. It's affordable and does the job. Link below. Lastly, I want to talk about selenium. You may have heard about selenium benefits for strong hair and good skin. And some of these benefits are real, but only if you don't overdo it. Selenium is found in many of our food staples. And if you're also using selenium shampoos for septum, 
you may get selenium toxic, which can make you feel quite unwell and cause more skin issues. In fact, a small study found that septum sufferers had higher levels of selenium compared to controls. So if you think you're overdoing the selenium subs, it's time to stop. Vitamin D, B, and C deficiency also affects septum. Check out the vitamin and mineral deficiency playlist on my channel. My name is Sharon and I run the blog and newsletter at madamwell.com dedicated to controlling septum. Check out this next video and read more at madamwell.com. Link below. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Bye!